We made a commitment to the people of Kenya to accelerate interventions to actualize the constitutional gender inclusion threshold and pursue radical imaginative strategies towards this end and to significantly enhance financial inclusion of women among other efforts. And let me say this. When I did uh, a memorandum to parliament, I did not do it for political correctness. It is because I had made a commitment to the women in Kenya Kwanzaa that we would finally do something about this two-third gender rule. And it has been a back and forth for now over 10 years. I want to commit to the women of Kenya that this time round, this time round, we will make sure that the two-third gender rule is attained. And the exercise that is going on in Parliament, the NADCO report, now includes what Aisha Jumwa and her team have been doing. And the commitment I made is that for the 290 seats, at the very minimum, we must have at least one third being women. Now, I know there is a lot of calculus and mathematics and interpretations and what, but in the bill that is going to go to parliament, we will make sure that at least more women, and hopefully we can do this by next year, more women get to leadership in parliament. And my instructions are very clear to Kimani Ishungwa, who is the leader of majority in the National Assembly, and the PG of uh, our Kenya Kwanzaa uh, team, that that will be the official position of the party. And we have talked to many leaders, especially men, and I can tell you, ladies, for the first time, I see that men are committed to making sure that this time round, we succeed in actualizing the two-third gender rule in the frame that we have set. And I, and I want to ask uh, women leaders, I know you may want higher numbers, but we can, we can, we can do it, you know, we, we can do it progressively. Let, let us get what we, what, we, what we think is attainable now. You guys know what you need to do. We can then take it to the next level, and then take it to the next level, and finally get it to 50-50. Yeah. That a truly inclusive economy would be at least twice as productive, meaning that we would have exceeded our most ambitious development projections long time ago. We can accelerate our progress to become an industrialized, high-income economy by radically enhancing the inclusion and participation of women in leadership. And speaking about women and participation in our country, even when we speak even about politics alone, Despite that we have few women elected, majority of voters in Kenya are women. So there is no doubt as to whether women participate in politics or not, because they do. But now it is time for us to move it a notch higher, that women should not only participate in terms of being voters, they should participate in terms of being candidates and in being elected as leaders. And it is not just politically correct to say we should have women leaders. It is the constitutional thing to do.
and it is the moral imperative that we must aspire to achieve. And therefore, when I was requested by these great ladies to participate in this launch of G7, the great seven women governor leaders in Kenya, I thought it was a good place for me to come and ask us as a nation to recognize the participation of women. And none of us, no man, however prejudiced they are, did not come from a womb of a mother. We may be whatever we are, we may be strong, we may be opinionated, we may even have issues of prejudice, but the basic fact is that we were born by women. So just that recognition alone should give us the courage and the inspiration to support women in Kenya. Cecil Mbarire is the chair of UDA, not by default. It is deliberate and it is intentional. And one of the assignments she has is that we must, as a party, lead from the front and we must make it in the rules, uh, Madam, Anne, uh, Madam uh, Cecily Mbarire, that when Rigiji and myself to kifika hapo mbele na tumepangana tumekubaliana vile itaenda we must also agree that going forward if a man is a candidate for president in our party the woman must be the runner and and if a woman is a candidate then the, the ma a man can be running it. Okay? And we must also cascade it down to the governors. So, and we must be intentional and deliberate about it, otherwise it will never happen. And I know fellow party leaders in other parties will agree with us, because we all agree, because I'm sure the party leader in WIPA supported Wavinya, the party leader in uh, ODM supported uh, Gladys, and all the other party leaders supported, um, supported uh, their, their women uh, candidates. So we will do this not because we want to do anything against men, but we want to balance so that we all uh, move uh, together. And Madam says, you, as you undertake that exercise, you will have my 100% support.